hello so in this uh, video we are going to know about uh, Cochrane boiler specification construction working and application so let's see so this is our uh, Cochrane boiler so coming to the specification size uh, 3 meter diameter 2 meter height if then uh, the evaporation is 20 kg per hour or if the size uh, is 3 meter diameter into 6 meter meter height then uh, this vary okay so according to the size the uh, in capacity uh, also uh, vary operating pressure up to 20 bar uh, heating surface uh, is uh, 10 to 25 times the great area efficiency is near about 70 to uh, 75 percent already i told this is a fire tube boiler and the external diameter and uh, the number are in uh, this okay so uh, this is a vertical uh, tube uh, boiler multi tubular boiler uh, fire tube so uh, at the top uh, we have a hemispherical uh, crown uh, this is used as a boiler uh, drum and uh, here our steam is uh, stored at the top and at the bottom uh, through this all area there is a uh, water okay so we have uh, a furnace and that is also in hemispherical form and the fuel is burned uh, at the grate which is uh, made of uh, cast iron uh, tubes and due to the combustion uh, if uh, due to the combustion the fuel uh, is flowing through the combustion chamber and from the combustion chamber it is flowing uh, through uh, these tubes these are the fire tubes and uh, during the flow uh, the heat uh, of the flue gases is transferred from and the uh, flue gas to the water okay due to that heat transfer there is a generation of steam and this steam is stored at the uh, at the top of the crown okay so here our uh, uh, furnace uh, is made of hemispherical uh, because uh, if any unburned uh, fuel is going through the flue gases then it strikes the top surface of the uh, furnace and it again return back as a result uh, there is a, a complete combustion of the fuel or on the other hand uh, the reduction in loss of fuel okay so after uh, heating or after generating the steam uh, the flue gases is uh, going out uh, through uh, the chimney so this is our chimney and uh, this we have a smoke bag a smoke box and at this point there is a door okay so if uh, any repairing or any maintenance work is needed cleaning purpose uh, man can enter through the door okay so at this uh, area since uh, this is smoke box smoke is stored as a result and uh, there is a carbon uh, is uh, storing or uh, scale of carbon uh, is present uh, so we need to remove this carbon okay so at the bottom uh, if you see at the bottom we have blow up cock valve uh, through the blow up cock valve the mud or sediments are removed which is stored at the bottom and which are coming uh, through the water okay so at the uh, uh, at this point we have a manhole uh, through the manhole man can enter uh, to the uh, crown and uh, by uh, this uh, regular inspection and repairing uh, work may be done okay and at the top surface of the crown you can see there is a many uh, valve like safety valve steam stop valve pressure gauge uh, water level indicator and fusible plug so these are the boiler mountings and this is used uh, for safety purpose of the boiler here we have anti priming pipe which separates water and steam okay so uh, due to uh, due to this pipe only steam can uh, flow through the steam stop valve and uh, wherever we need we can use uh, this okay after combustion of the fuel uh, the ash is collected at the ash pit and through that it is removed from the uh, furnace coming to the uh, discovery uh, this uh, boiler is discovered by edward compton and james taylor who uh, established the company named cochrane 
uh, in Buchenhardt around 1878 so this is uh, discovered by them and uh, the name of the boiler so and uh, it is uh, generally used for a mobile uh, purpose uh, such as a steam roller 